The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to check there's no further speakers uh, uh, that my friend from across the aisle has. Uh, no further speakers. Okay. Gentleman, Pennsylvania is recognized. All right, thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I have no further speakers at this time, and I would yield myself the balance of our time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I consider uh, my friend across the aisle a, a friend, and it's certainly uh, an honor and a privilege to debate law with him, given the fact that he's a renowned constitutional law expert. I mean that sincerely. It, it, is, it is fun being up, up here with you. So knowing that you have the last word, uh, knowing that he has the last word, I do just have to cite one more case uh, uh, for my good friend. I, I just keep going back to, uh, to, to Trump versus Thompson 2022, where Justice Kavanaugh said, there's only two very narrow exceptions to this privilege. Number one, which can be found in United States versus Nixon, relates to a pending criminal trial. There's no pending criminal trial here. That exception is not applicable. The second narrow exception is one uh, found in Senate Select Committee versus Nixon. And there, it's whether the subpoenaed evidence is demonstrably critical to the responsible fulfillment of a committee's function. I'm quoting the precedent here. And that case law goes on to state, there is clear difference between Congress's legislative tasks and the responsibility of a grand jury went on further to describe that Congress frequently legislates on the basis of conflicting information provided in its hearings all the time. So I would submit that that exception does not apply either. Reasonable minds can differ, but I'm very confident that the case law here supports the case of Mr. Scavino. But with that said, the, the law notwithstanding, it seems that my friends across the aisle have proven time and time again that they don't care about the separation of powers. They don't care that the protection, they don't care about the protection of our constitutional rights. They don't even care about the rules of the House. They only do if those items fit a political narrative. It's very clear to me that from the Select Committee's treatment of Mr. Scavino and from the resolution before us today, that they would rather prefer to keep up their political theater rather than conduct a legitimate congressional investigation. I urge my colleagues to vote no on the previous question and no on the rule. And with that, I yield back my time. The gentleman from Pennsylvania yields back.